the 40th anniversary of Bruce Lee's death. And, you know, for many of us in the martial arts world, Bruce Lee was not only a force of nature, but a massive inspiration. And despite the fact that I didn't get into Bruce Lee until, well, after I had started martial arts, um, I grew up on Van Damme and Chuck Norris movies and action cartoons. Bruce Lee didn't really become part of my life until late in uh, junior high school. You know, I had been in martial arts a couple years by then, um, but I tell you, once I got into Bruce Lee, it changed my perspective a lot. I was given a copy of the Tao of Jeet Kune Do, I read it a couple of times, you know, it was, um, it was really transformative. You know, the, the man had uh, some incredible, incredible insights, and I can't always say that he was right or that he was giving a universal truth. Sometimes he was giving things that were a little too uh, specific to himself. But the thing is that for the most part, his philosophy, his ideas were good. And uh, his idea of having no styles as, as a style, having no way as a way, is kind of the foundation of what I do as a martial artist. I train many styles, I train many ideas, because it's the ideas, it's the principles that matter. It's not the techniques, it's not the style, it's not the belt, it's not the uniform, none of that matters. And, um, you know, it's, it's a very important idea to me. In fact, you know, my current love of Wing Chun stems from the fact that, well, Bruce Lee studied Wing Chun. That seems like a pretty good place to, to go. So despite the fact that I had years of other stuff under my belt, I went and started Wing Chun, and wow, yeah, it's amazing, I love it. Uh, is it everything? No, but it's got a lot, and it's a, a solid, solid lot. And so I wanted to, to discuss with you just briefly, you know, one of Bruce Lee's most famous quotes. It was, uh, it was an interview back in the, the 60s, I believe, and um, I'm going to butcher the quote verbatim. I didn't, uh, I didn't look it up before I uh, started filming. But the idea is, um, you know, be formless, be shapeless, like water. You know, you pour water into a teapot, it becomes a teapot. You pour it into a glass, it becomes a glass. It can, water can flow or it can crash, it can be water. Uh, it's the whole idea of it, is this idea of formlessness, shapelessness, of adaptability. It is incredibly important. Water is a really great poster child for, for martial arts in general. It's the idea of, of it, can, it can be hard and soft. You've got hard and soft styles. It can be, you know, flowing or crashing or, you know, clashing. It can go up against and it can, you know, flow with. It can be healing. It can be damaging. I mean, it, it really represents the the opposite ends of the spectrum very, very well. Um, and that's the whole idea. That's, I mean, it's the whole idea of, of what we do as martial artists. If, you're, if your idea is to be dogmatic and follow tradition, that's fine. But, um, you know, my belief in what I teach my students is that tradition itself is a prison because we get locked into these ideas that may or may not have a, a foundational basis that may be just the way we've always done things. The way we've always done it is never a good reason to do anything. The reason to do anything is form or function. And, you know, if it serves a, a reasonable function, by all means, do it. But don't do it just because your great-grandpappy did it. Don't do it just because the master of your system did it. There are many things in martial arts that work only in a very limited amount of circumstances or that only work for a certain person of a certain size in a certain situation, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you can go on and on and on. So you have to understand that this idea of malleability, this idea of playing with opposing forces, playing with uh, opposite ends of the spectrum, adaptability is incredibly important and more than anything was at the heart of what Bruce Lee was trying to teach. I mean, you've all heard the stories that Bruce Lee did not want to even really write his book because he was afraid that people would dogmatize it. 
And the thing is, you realize that, well, hey, you realize that while uh, people like uh, Guru Dana Nasanto, who is an amazing martial artist, and people like Jerry Poteet, who uh, recently died, uh, were truly spreading Bruce Lee's methodology, uh, these guys were first generation students. They understood what Bruce was going after, but there are uh, many people under them that say, this is the way Bruce Lee did things. Well, it doesn't matter what the way Bruce Lee did things was, it's more about the ideas that he taught. In uh, an excellent interview with his son, Brandon, uh, you know, Brandon said that people often ask him, uh, do you train Jeet Kune Do? And, and he said, well, the easy answer is just to say, yes, I trained Jeet Kune Do. But the real answer is my father trained me how to think and practice martial arts. And it's the whole difference between the idea of teaching somebody a block and then teaching somebody the principle behind that block. If you give them just a block, you give them just a fish, right? It's that parable again. You give them that and they have that thing. But you tell them how to do it, what's behind it, the reason, the principle, then they can explore that. They can use it. They can adapt it to the circumstance, what they need. They can understand its functions and limits. And that's what's important. So in your journeys, whether it be martial arts, whether it be parkour, whether it be strength training, uh, military, law enforcement, whatever it is, understand that the dogma, the indoctrination, the style, the method are not important. They're simply not important. You find what works for you and you go with it. But what is important is understanding why those things work for you and understanding the difference between what is kind of universally human, which really nothing is, but things are kind of universal. It's a kind of gray area. Um, but there's a difference between finding what is kind of universally human and what works specific for a body type, strength type, speed type, whatever. So be thinking about it, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Um, nope, you guys have until 5 p.m. Arizona time. Uh, tomorrow, Sunday, uh, what is it, July 21st, to like a picture on my Facebook page. Go to the Facebook page, there's a picture of Goku. If you don't know who Goku is, educate yourself. G-O-K-U. Look him up. Um, <clears throat> there's a picture of Goku doing a one-handed push-up. Every like that that picture gets, I will do one one-handed push-up for you. I will do it on video. So, go and like the picture you have until 5 p.m. Sunday, July 21st, Arizona time, and uh, I'll videotape it and post it sometime tomorrow or Monday. I'll talk to you guys later. Good journey.